Hey, it's Laura Stas from the Hot 97 Morning Show. And it's your girl, Miss Info, from Hot 97, and also MissInfo.tv, and we're repping HotNewHipHop.com. Well, Summer Jam is coming up. Are yeah. you guys excited for the lineup and everything? Yes, of course. Super excited. I mean, you know what's so funny is that the Summer Jam's all sort of mush together yeah. from year to year. I, I, You know, a lot of the, the standout performances, you remember them, but you don't necessarily remember the year yeah. or who else was on the lineup. And um, I think that even for this year, there's so many backstories, really rich backstories from 50 this is his first time being on that Summer Jam stage since he was banned. And we all remember very vividly when he was banned and yes. the chairs being thrown yeah. and, and the craziness. The and so, chair <laughs> yeah, so it's like, what is he going to do? And then yeah. at the same time, like Nikki coming back, it's it's sort of a redemption story there, too, Absolutely. because of the uh, controversy that had, the you know, the last time Absolutely. she was on the lineup. So there's a lot of really, really interesting things that could play out. Okay. I just get excited because... It's exciting to see how excited the artists are to be a part of something. Oh, event. totally. I Absolutely. We all try to outdo each other in some, you know, some shape or form. Even though some of them don't like to admit it, they all want to have, like, the biggest wow factor. It's not a regular show for anybody. Absolutely you know, no not. one's treating like this like another gig on their schedule. No. It's it's not a regular tour it's day. Summer jam. Yeah, like. they're they're planning their outfits in advance and their stage props and everything. So Absolutely. Who who are you guys looking forward to seeing perform? Oh man, I can't wait to see the roots, and I, I'm 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 really curious about the friends that they're bringing. Yep. Of course, I want to see Nas, and I really want to see Nikki. Yeah, of I'm course. I'm really excited to see Nikki and see how she's gonna. You know, I, I saw some of the um the uh, footage from her concert for our sister station in, in L.A. And she killed it, but I know she's going to bring something different to New York, to her hometown. She's also like this whole new like thing. I'm I'm really excited glam. To see her. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I love it. It's like so toned down and cute. What yeah. about you, Miss Info? Um. I mean, I'm always excited for the main stage. That's where, like, you know, the big dogs bring out the big guns. Yeah. But to me, a lot of what's happening in hip-hop in terms of, like, how many guest features you bring, that there's an emphasis and an expectation there that kind of yeah. disappoints me, actually. Really? Because a lot of times it's, you know, I'll go to a show, and the only thing that people care about is whether somebody brought out, you know, the top three most famous rap, you know, yeah. Kanye, Hove. Um, I don't know who else. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, and you're like, yeah. yeah, but you actually went to so and so's show, right? Yeah. So I'm excited to see the core artists that are actually performing. And and this year, more so than in you know, in the recent history, I'm really excited about the festival stage. Yes, I was too. Yeah, I mean that has turned into, and I'm really happy about it. It used to be the B team, yeah. or the farm team, <laughs> or the preschool. You know, yeah. before before the high school, but um, now it's not that. It's like an alternate yeah. stage, and Absolutely. it's it, it's for like artists who really fit that audience, and you know, everybody from Childish Gambino to Janae um, Aiko. That's gonna be, I mean, Insane. something to see. Yeah. And, and the great yeah. thing about Summer Jam too is that we stream all the backstage goodness live yes. on the web oh, um so yeah <laughs> Listen, this year, i'm excited because i graduated <laughs> no i graduated we're letting you in the room yes oh you wait, wait. <laughs> let me tell you every year at summer jam i always host the festival stage yes right? don't get me wrong it's so much fun yes but i've gone through hell back there <laughs> i'm outside it's raining in the elements and yep me, look i'm I'm interviewing somebody with rain. Yes. Like, it's like straight gorilla style. And then later, uh, you know, I'll go into like the main radio room and her and Angie are getting like, mixed it up. <laughs> We're having cocktails. <laughs> oh, it's the life. Yeah. <laughs> so this year, I get to be with them inside. See, awesome. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, that and you'll get to see. And by the way, even though we are in the air conditioning, it's not all pretty. Oh, okay, I'm sure. so oh, in yeah. that in that VIP lounge area where we're doing all of these interviews for the live stream, sometimes it gets a little um, real. Please like, tell my favorite story about last year. Last year we had a, a live audience <laughs> in the um, in the room, and you know, yes, we're sponsored by you know different beverage brands, so there were free drinks. Yes, and <laughs> live audiences, and bless their drinks. heart, are either fans of the station or really random people that you have no idea where they sh how they how they got true. there okay and um there was one girl who was way turned up it was maybe 
7 p.m. early in the evening. She was already way turned up. (laughs) So we're doing these interviews, and then all of a sudden there was like a little commotion behind us with the live with the live audience. Turns out she barfed while we were doing it, like like in the background. Yes, like the smell, like the like. Right and there. tried to play it off like, uh, just, no. just chilling. No way, girl. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I was like, okay, if you guys don't like remove this woman, I it's gonna be like spontaneous, like it contagious. Tell me bar- that's on no, vid- video. If, if I, smell if I it, hear, it's a, yeah, oh, it's if I hear you barfing, if any of curl. the senses, like, <laughs> exactly. I'm joining the party, the barfing party. Wait, is this on video? Um, I don't know. I don't know whether it was like magically you know like a little camera <laughs> trick turn or something but yeah there's always something we have the best stories it's always something i'm telling you it's like it's so much fun and the artists all hang out yeah yeah they don't want to leave the room yeah. so after they do their interview part and we do um, a live broadcast also okay. from the same room um they still you know are chilling there it's like hey tyga yeah Hi, <laughs> honey cocaine <laughs> you, just, you, you have a show to do or anything yeah. like you know Okay, well, that's awesome. So, everybody, make sure you check out MissInfo.tv. Uh, Miss TV. Yes, okay. <laughs> and Laura Styles on the Morning Show. Yes, yes, yes. On Hot 97. You can catch that streaming on Hot97.com, <laughs> iHeartRadio. Catch it everywhere, phones, laptops, the whole time. You're here with your girl, Ashley Ray. I'm here at Hot 97 with Miss Info and Laura Styles. Hi. Hi, Hello. guys. Hi, just- what's going on? Oh, nothing, nothing. I'm here to ch- before this. Yeah, right? I've, I've basically written or edited for all of the hip hop publications from the source in the very, very beginning to Vibe to Double XL. My career here in New York. And I was just kind of like, oh, it's the number one market. That's where I want to grow. That's where I want to be at. That's awesome. So. Well, I mean, like growing up in Cali, listening to Cali music, and then you come 